I'm Robin Higgins and this is How is the Atomic Number of a Nucleus Changed by Gamma Decay? The answer is that it's not. Um, gamma decay is a type of radiation and it completely leaves the atomic number or the number of protons in the nucleus unchanged. So let's look at this example. So this is just a simple uh, helium atom and so we have our two protons and our two neutrons and our two electrons and let's see what happens to it once it undergoes gamma decay. Well actually this number of electrons, neutrons, and protons stays the same except it also lets out a gamma particle. So, uh, what is a gamma particle? Well, it's a very uh, mathy topic and it has a lot to do with quantum mechanics and it's very complicated, but basically it's a state uh, that the entire atom was in going from a higher state to a lower state. So to explain, let's kind of look at this other uh, atom. And sometimes you'll have a single electron and it will be at a high energy state because it ran into some energy. Maybe it was just under direct sunlight and it was excited or it got heated somehow. And now after a while, it will travel back down to the ring it actually belongs to and it'll be right there. And as it does that, it releases off light or energy in terms of a photon. So that's what happens when one electron goes from an excited state to a lowered energy state. And a gamma particle is basically the photon version of what happens in gamma decay. So basically, instead of just an electron at a higher state, you have the entire particle. And so gamma decay doesn't just randomly happen, it usually happens uh, kind of in combination with other types of radiation, with alpha decay or beta decay, um, and this will just kind of be a side product. Uh, unfun fact, gamma particles are extremely dangerous and definitely will poison you. So if you see one coming, avoid it. Just kidding, you can't see them. It'll be too late if you ever come in contact with them. But it only happens with extremely hazardous radioactive material, so you're probably fine. All right, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What Happens to the Atomic Number of a Nucleus When It Undergoes Gamma Decay?